I don't know if I should do this, but Sweetie died, and it came on suddenly. She just stopped eating. I wasn't fasting her no more, and I was just trying to heal her wound, and it came on suddenly. About two weeks ago, she stopped eating and drinking water. I wasn't doing none of that craziness anymore because, uh, you know, the wound was healing really good and it had gone down 50%. And then all of a sudden, um, about two to three weeks ago, she started acting really weird and bumping into things and uh, she was still pretty healthy looking and then suddenly she stopped eating and within a week she went downhill really bad in the last two weeks she didn't walk anymore um i had to make her walk from the bedroom So we um, decided to go to Louisiana, even though, like, we had this vacation planned since last year to go see our son out there. And we were going to get a dog sitter, but at the last minute, we decided no, because she's bumping into things and she's not eating. So uh, we were um, feeding her every two hours and she didn't want to be fed anymore and she was going to hide in the backyard and then all of a sudden um we did decide to take her to louisiana we left last week and then we when we got there she was really really weak so our son um continued to refeed her we weren't able to go anywhere we just stayed in his place <laughs> and kept feeding her she perked up she said her final goodbyes to our son and then um we got home and uh that was saturday night and i continued to feed her every two hours until bedtime and her sore her breast mass was really good um but when i changed her last dressing I discovered another mass. And when I saw that mass was on the opposite side of the other one, her stomach looked grayish black. So there was nothing we could do. It was her time to go. So Sunday I decided that I was going to just take her outside and just spend as much time with her and not go anywhere like I haven't been. I've been caged like a bird with her for the past year, but this last two months and then the last two weeks became critical. Um, so Sunday I spent my day outside with her all day trying to feed her every two hours um called the emergency hospital and they said she needed iv fluids so i gave her fluids through a syringe and um created her own natural saline water um and she threw up the food and then she went into the garage and laid there and so I told her to come outside and she could barely walk. Her legs kept um, giving way. So, um, so I was sitting there with her and then all of a sudden her, um, her little head would poke up and look at me and look at me every so often to see what I was doing. And I was sitting right ne next to her, petting her. And I had her just lay there on the cement with the food. And 
I ran inside the house to get um, some chicken broth made for her. So I told her, um, I'll be right back. You still, you stay right here and be strong. I'll be right back. And she looked up and she was so happy. And so I went inside, got the chicken broth, gave it to her the last time. And then um, she um, stood up, came up to me and stood for a couple minutes while I was petting her. And she got strong all of a sudden, and she tried to walk. So I told her, I said, come on, walk over here. I said, you want to go for a walk? Should I go get your leash? But I knew that was not going to happen. No. So I decided to um, just stay right there, you know? So basically, instead of every two hours, then I was like, okay, let me push a little bit more fluids. Um... But when I was pushing the fluids towards the last two hours, her mouth had turned white. And her eyes had turned white. And her stomach didn't look good. And I could tell she was having trouble breathing. And so I just kept petting her and her breathing calmed down. And then... Um, she decided to get up and walk um, to go pee and poop, and she did. And when she did, she collapsed. So I knew that was the end. So I held her up while she finished doing her thing. And then I told her, come on, honey, come on, be strong, be strong. You can do it. You can walk, you can walk. And she walked to her spot where she was laying at. And when she did that, I um, ran and got her bed because I knew it was going to be any minute now. So I went and got her bed and I laid it towards the garden and I put a chair over there so I could sit with her. And she got up to try to walk and she collapsed. And then she got up again to get to the um, bed. And I knew it was any minute. <laughs> she made it to the um, to the bed, and then I um, I got her to lay on it because her legs were gave out. And when they gave out, I just positioned them um, so that she could be like in a sitting position, but laying. And then. Right before she passed, she got up and stood up and smiled at me. And I was like, what's wrong with you? Are you in pain, mommy? And then she just, I'm sorry. I love you, mama. And she just lay down. So I just want to tell you guys that she passed away. There's nothing we can do. We can do our best, but we got to respect them and give them a proper uh, going away. And I know she's with me, so I left her a bowl of water. And I just wanted to share that with you guys because things can come on suddenly. And sometimes there's nothing we can do but love them. And know and let them know that you are here for them and you're still gonna be there for them. So I just wanna share that with you guys. Sorry if this is a long video, but it's for my sweetie. Thank you.